I'm not going to have the fuel tank, the switch, or the switch, right, PTO or ignition, until after New Year's looks like, but I wouldn't exchange the air filter out for the right size, and then still have fuel lines to do, put the battery in, and the wheels came today, so we got, you know, just ship it with a catalog because I think you're rich, but I'm just a generic, right, um, wheel, and then they have a bunch of spacers so you can make it the the right width. Now, it said it went up to 5.9 inches, which should be this one, so I think we'll have to use all the spacers, even though there's an odd number of them. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll figure that out. What's the other side have? I mean, they're just holding it up. They don't have to be centered. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, this one has an odd number two. Well, you know what it is. These two are the same size as that. So really, it's like having six big ones. So we'll have to put two of the small ones on one side and make it even. But I bet that's the way it's going to go. Okay. So you got the bolt partway in, a bunch of greasy spacers. Everything's going to be really greasy, just to be sure. And i got to get some grease in the wheel. I already got a bunch on the other side, but really I'm just getting a whole crap load on the inside of that surface. And then we'll grease it up once it's on there too. All right. Of course it makes it difficult to pick out greasy fingers. I'm completely talking out of my ass here, just doing what makes sense. So it being a bushing, see like it doesn't really spin because we have it pinched down. Um, if it was a bearing and it was squishing the races together, that would be ideal. I want to tighten this all the way up, but it's got a lock washer in line, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. And if it does, it's just a yard. We'll be able to find it. I want to loosen it up just a tiny bit. And there we go. That thing's starting to, it like freewheels just fine. And there's not very much play left and right to beat it up. I'll probably tighten it a little more than that, actually. We'll just kind of try to find that sweet spot where there's very little play and it rotates. So let's make sure we keep it greased and we'll be good to go. Get both sides done. Okay, batteries in place. Right, seat folds up for it. Now there's a rod for that, but I put the throttle cable through the hole, so I think I won't bother with it. And then that all boil down to is if this, I have a choke on all the way, I flipped, uh, flickered the little valve thing a little bit. Uh, I didn't do the fuel filters yet, but do it afterwards, because if this doesn't start on its own with the choke, then I'm not gonna bother uh, goofing with it. I'm just gonna order a carb up. So, moment of truth. Okay, kids asleep, so we're not going to rub it up or anything, but uh, that's good. Uh, so the parts for that, uh, for the zero turn aren't going to be in until next year, right? In the beginning of January, that new fuel tank will show up and the switches. So we're going to trade this one out and do a little test ride. Got the, the new tires, new seat, everything else lined up. And when my battery died, it had just started on its own without starting fluid, and I was super excited. So we're going to take it out to the shed, put the battery in the Cub Cadet, bring that up here to work on for a while. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the plan, at least.
way better with the seat. I'm not trying to hold myself up and everything. Uh, it does want to go left quite a bit. We'll have to adjust that. But see how it does on the trails. It's a lot harder to steer than the other mower. But it doesn't hurt. So this seat, I mean, it's passed the test to me. I'm not going to do all the other ones. Good enough. It's probably surging because I turned the choke off too early. Who knows? Uh-oh. Good thing we got two-wheel drive. <laughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. Speed! Yeah, that'll do it. All right. Okay, Cub Cadet. We finally don't hate working on you because you're not our only mower. Ta-da! All right. Uh, go back down. It's too bad that seat doesn't fit. That's really comfortable. Really comfortable seat. Oh, boy. Okay, mower. Please still work. Where's my key? Oh, my key's up in the garage. Are you kidding? I'll be back. Okay, probably fuel pumps not primed and all that crap. Let's see, throttle, this is choke. Yeah, see how rich it is? See how it does for two weeks. 